Hey guys, uh, so I learned my video topic today at 1 in the morning because that's when I do a lot of quality learning, I guess. If you're like me and you're a 16 year old who still watches Nickelodeon and the Disney Channel like you're 12, then I love you. And also, uh, then you may have seen the episode of Victorious where Victoria, or Tori, I guess they call her on the show, Victoria Justice's character wins some like online competition to open the Platinum Music Awards. It's called Tori Goes Platinum creative title. Well, if you've seen the episode, then you'll know that there's the scene where she's uh, she's recording her audition video. She's got a computer on the top of her piano and her camera on the top of her piano, which infuriates me to no end because anyone who's ever tried to film themselves singing anything knows that if you put your camera on your piano, the only audio you will get will be this overpowering, like, rattly, terrible quality piano sound because it's way too close to the piano and you won't pick up any vocals at all. And she just kind of like comfortably sitting there, perfect angle, whatever, like, no! can't do that. Which aside from being a scene that gets me really angry, I also that's also where I got my lesson from today. Uh, because usually on that show they like write their own songs and pretend they're existing things. Which is really confusing because all the songs are originals and I can never tell if like Victoria or Tori and her friends and that Andre guy who's played by Leon Thomas III who I love was supposed to because he was in August Rush. Okay anyway, if uh, the songs are supposed to be written by the characters or if they're supposed to be pre-existing things in the world of Victorious <sighs> I think too much about these things. But the song that Tori sings for her audition is not actually an original song. It already exists. It's a Natasha Benningfield song called Cheer Me Up, which I did not know was a thing. And I listened to the song last night, and by last night I mean at one in the morning, so it counts as today. And it was really cool, and I liked it. And then I found out that uh, Victoria Justice did a full recording of it because people liked the 30 second snippet she played. And I'm trying to find chords for it someplace so I can play it, but I can't because apparently no one sings that song. Everyone should sing that song. Okay. Yep. That'll be the end of this video. Bye guys!